Hello and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. I'm David in Ark, and today we've got a video by request from Nathan Bugby, and that uh, that is, can we do some random configs with the Legrand? So we're gonna do some rando Legrando, <laughs> something like that. Scramble everything, and let's see what we come up with. Oh, look at this bad boy. Oh, that, that's actually pretty sweet looking. I mean, other than the wheels and tires. While I appreciate the scramble everything button, uh, I, I do kind of wish everything meant that you got the same wheels uh, on the front and the back, just because I, I realize that takes out some of the randomness, but still, let's just see what this bad boy can do. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at the camper. <laughs> on these wheels. Wow, when it says random everything, they are not kidding. It randomizes everything, evidently. Oh, look at this. This is gorgeous. Through the air, flying down. Crunch, there you go. Not bad at all. Oh, the back end's a little hard to steer. Can we get in the water? There it is. Skipping through the water and settling down. Oh. Our, our engine isn't doing anything, which I realize, you know, it's flooding, but still the fact that uh, it was still running before we could do anything. That is a bummer. All right. So that was our first experiment. I do think it's funny that it's got the uh, championship racing number 189 and then the giant, I guess it's a B. I don't know. At first I thought it was an eight. That's why I thought it was funny. But then I was like, never mind. Forget it. You know what? Just randomize everything, Dave. Just go for it. Oh, how about this? A Legrand wagon with, <laughs> with the advert, uh, the taxi advert on the top. <clears throat> We've got the uh, Derby reinforced beams here running through the passenger section. Not to mention lights on the top. Uh, they did keep the hinged... Uh, welds around the hood. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, I think we have, I don't know what that is. Is that a no texture problem? I, I don't know what's going on. This, however, is the ultimate Uber Excel. Right? <laughs> if, you're, if you're into 80s wagons being your yellow cab. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Get back on track there, buddy. Look at this, cruising down here. We are rolling through 136, 136 miles an hour. And what a nosedive. Look at that. Didn't even make 200 on the car jump arena landing zone. But I will tell you, this little dude is cruising along. Oh, it actually almost flipped up out of the uh, landing pool. You got to love the wood. Oh, no, I see. It's not a no texture thing. The wood siding, the wood paneling is covering up the number for the uh, <laughs> for the taxi company. Because uh, the wood paneling. Oh, my gosh. Listen, I'm an old man. I've been around a long time. And I can vividly remember when wood paneling on the side of anything and everything was a thing oh my gosh that is so although ironically i have seen some newer vehicles that <clears throat> excuse me that have put the wood the fake wood paneling on the side again why why are you people doing this no just stop i mean unless you're lgr no no just don't do it all right here we go scramble everything again what are we going to end up with this time we have <laughs> Well, I will tell you, the randomizer definitely likes the ladder and pipe configuration because so far it's put that on nearly every configuration that we have done. Once again, we've got the rotopad uh, uh, markings on the side. We have the, <laughs> the wood grain, of course. Uh, we, we still stick with the derby reinforced beam. I did notice that uh, Nitro has been in several of them. I apologize for not engaging the Nitros. Let's do that on this bad boy. Look at that. The randomizer definitely enjoys the hinged, whoops, sorry, the uh, hinged hood feature there for sure. 
Oh, look at that. It, it, it truly surprises me how well a lot of these vehicles perform considering the fact that it's just a bunch of random parts configured together. I have not taken a look at the script to see that it, like, I don't know, does it check to make sure that the drivetrain connects to the transmission and et cetera, et cetera. That I don't know. Um, so there, so there could be some different checks going on to make sure things work. I just seem to remember that in early versions of similar mods, you could actually end up with configurations where the vehicles wouldn't actually be drivable. But so far, each of these in the Legrand category, and really in all of them, have been able to function at least to some degree. Oh, look at this. This is sweet. This is, uh, oh, heck yeah, man. This has given me some either Monte Carlo <clears throat> or some uh, uh, GNX vibes to this, man. Nothing like having a beat up freaking awesome police car. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. This is truly one of my favorite configs right here. Of, of all the ones that I've seen among all the cars that we've done, all the different vehicles. Oh, we blew the engine, though. This is definitely... Whoops. Oh, okay. That did not go well. Not well at all. <laughs> Off of the track and rolling down the hill. Look at that. The front end completely bent out of... Oh, shape. That is not good. For the 835. Ouch. Alright, let's 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 try that again. Oh nice. That is so so cool. I it'd be nice if there's a way that I could do this and not blow the engine. I just don't know. Like even if I just coast down the hill, well, okay, that, that seems to be doing alright. But I think at some point you're gonna still end up. Uh, yeah, see, you just over torque it. All right, well, that's not bad. I didn't break the engine that time. I think we took off around 140 miles an hour. Ooh, yeah. Nice landing. Well, we're definitely hitting the pond. Oh, well, I take that back. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. But it's a good thing that it had the uh, cage inside to protect the driver. I mean, theoretically, I guess it protected the passenger... I don't know though. That door. Let's just let's just grab the driver's seat. Yeah, no. Your partner's hosed there, man. The partner is hosed. Oh. Oh, that is so so cool. Man, that's awesome. Let's see if we can get back our get get ourselves back here. There we go. Man. Which I I, I did not turn the lights on. I guess I should have done that. Those are some seriously bright lights. I am kind of curious. Uh, by the way, you may have noticed that a lot of YouTubers, we, we do not uh, tend to play the game in the dark because of the YouTube um, compression and just other general junk that happens with YouTube. It really changes how dark things look. And so uh, a lot of us don't mess with that at all. But look at that. Oh, that is gorgeous and I know I'm gonna blow the engine I don't really care we are after the effects there it is engines busted oh look at the airplane flying through the sky we are cruising down crashing here we are headed for the dark waters what shall happen to us oh I think we missed again yes yes we did. oh and around the pole Ouch. We even lost our lights. I have no idea where the lights even went. I I, I missed that somewhere along the lay uh, the long along the way. I can I can speak. I really can. Alright, let's ramp this back up. Ah. Uh, that is so so cool. As I've mentioned, oh I don't know, a billion times in these videos, I love this game. I absolutely do. And and I keep saying game. Technically, I love this simulator. Oh my gosh, look at this bad boy. Oh, this brings back some memories of uh, definitely late 70s into 80s with the uh, jacked up 
back end, the slightly lowered front end. Of course, we've got the wood paneling on the side. Now, this one actually has police lights. That we've got the uh, the spoiler on the back, the the fin, I don't, whatever you guys call it. <laughs> we just we we always called it a spoiler. Oh yeah. This is all right. Let's see. First of all, are we going to bust the engine? Probably. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, it is holding its own. Now, we still will probably break the engine, but that's got 145 miles an hour. That is 145 miles an hour in your grandpa's station wagon with the police lights. That's what I'm talking about. And the uh, bronze rims on the front. That's what, that's what makes this vehicle right there. Those rims, if, if it weren't for those rims on the front, this would just be your everyday, you know, go-to-work vehicle. But no. The rims on the front, that changes everything. <laughs> Don't take anything I'm saying here seriously. All right, here we go. Oh, I do love the fact that we got the not only the cut hood, but the engine, the exhaust to go with it. Oh, man, it's just so freaking wicked. Just so wicked. I love it. All right, we got one more. Let's do, let's do one more. I really have no idea how long I've been recording. Oops, I don't know why I'm going there. Scramble everything. Oh, this is not going to be good. Look at that. That back end is sitting low. Get low. Get low, get low, get low. And, of course, we've got the ladder with the pipes. Luckily, well, I was going to say being supported by the, uh, the, the derby strength beams there. But, no, actually, uh, they are being supported just by the... Uh, Roof rack, but also <laughs> they are cutting through the lights on the top because why wouldn't they be? And again, you got to love the front rims. Now, I do, the back rims are kind of cool, but you know, the turquoise front rims, you're, you're just not going to see that happen too often in real life. Uh, although, I will say that much like the last time I did one of these videos uh, the other day, um, there's a lot of the turquoise pinkish purple combination going on i'm thinking the author of the mod is a big fan of neological right, here we go come on either that or uh uh spears the amazing he's al he's also a turquoise pink purple kind of person Ooh, look at that and our taxi comes to a halt here in bmg you know it's interesting a lot of the features, uh, especially on certain vehicles, they seem to be very similar. I'm going to scramble everything. Like this hood pattern, that seems to be... Oh, nice. <laughs> that seems to show up on all of these. So, can we... Oh my gosh, look at that. I know this is absolutely absurd and insane, but I actually think that is so, so cool looking. All right, I'm just... I'm trying to see if we can find... Uh, a, a pattern where we don't get these particular hood locks. And, and it may not be. It may be that that is always a thing, which is kind of funny to me. Which we don't have to actually scramble everything. I could just scramble parts because I don't think uh, that will mess with. Yeah. So I'm just cycling through here. Yeah. Every single one of these has those <laughs> hood hinges. Which is very, very weird. And I'm just... You'll have to forgive me. Okay. I guess they're bolted. Yeah, that's just a weird way to keep your hood on, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, is that like a real thing? Is that a normal thing? Uh, I won't say real, because I'm sure it's real. But is that is that a normal thing people do with these bolted hinges for your hood? That's, I don't know. I'm just I'm not familiar with that. As common as they seem to be on the Legrand, uh, I've not seen those anywhere around here. That was actually kind of cool. The uh, the the cab that was the four door cab instead of the uh, station wagon. Wow, this one went all pink. I mean, look at that. That is hilarious. For for once. It didn't actually... Well, I guess maybe... Are they all... And I'm just not paying... No, no. They're not. Oh, there we go. How about ye old taxi cab with the mattress on top? Yeah. 
Let's let's roll. Oh, pink rims in the back with to match the pink bumpers. Oh, okay. All right, we got a little weird. We got a weird weight issue. Oh, and there goes the mattress. That's not good. Not not gonna look good on your delivery record, there, my friend. As we go completely bonkers out of control. Oh, up over the hundred mark. I was kind of hoping I'm gonna run into it, but no. We flew up over it. As we come skidding down the hill. We've got like what? Is this like the world's most expensive rims on the front and cheapy little rims on the back? I say that, I don't know. I've not priced rims in forever, but those are very police vehicle looking rims to me. Whereas these are well, honestly, they, they kind of look like OEM rims that are trying to be cool. <laughs> that's, what, that's, that's what they look like to me. Is that, uh, is that a thing? I don't know. <laughs> Why not? No, I know it's a thing. I've, I've got them on my charger. Uh, let's see. Not, not, not those rims, but OEM rims that... I mean, they're cool, but they're OEM. You know, it is what it is. I don't know why I keep doing that. For Okay. So, once again, as I scramble parts, the hood always has the clamp down d deals. Oh, my gosh. Seriously, some of the combinations that come up are just... Oh, the, they have the potential of being so freaking wicked. I mean, this is already pretty nice. I mean, that's I love the larger tires in the back. I've got the smaller tires uh, in the front with the oh, oh that's oh look at the look at the reflection there. We got some yeah some some uh, colored chrome paint action going. Oh man, seriously, some of these combinations are pretty sweet. All right, we're going to scramble everything. Let's just do it. Oh, once again, some of the combinations I'm just absolutely loving. Hey, look at there. We almost, almost have the same rims on the front and the back. Almost. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Get up and go, dude. Let's do this. Oh, well, I say that as we go 30 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, there goes the mattress. It is... Oh, I thought it was going to help lift the car off. Oh, if we could get the mattress completely strapped on, do you think it could actually have us lift off? I mean, probably the answer is no, but it'd be kind of fun to try. We'll have to try that in a future video. In the meantime, I already said, you know, the last one like 20 minutes ago or something. So anyhow, as we sink to the bottom, there it is. Oh, man. Awesome stuff. Hey. If you've got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories, something you want to see, something you want me to try, by all means, leave it down in the comment section below, and uh, we'll see if we can't get to it in a future video. Woof, there goes the mattress. Whoa, way up there. Look at that. Holy cow. Yeah. In the meantime, thank you so much to Hero of God, Gamer Gall, and Los Wilco for supporting me on Ouch! Patreon. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so, so much. Hey, we're heading to 10K subs. Never, ever thought I would see that when I first started this channel. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. I'm David and Ark. Have a great day.